Hey folks, Engineer775 here. Just want to do a little intro to this video on the efficiency of solar water pumping. And it continues to amaze me. So I just wanted to tell you about this, especially this one little job I did a couple years ago for a farm. And they've continued to grow and add and add animals, add food production, add people, and just done some so many awesome things. And I've been kind of nervous if my little water pumping system was going to be able to keep up but the the piston pump um, has been doing fantastic the solar capacity I've only got two solar panels um, basically handling all the PV direct solar water pumping to storage tanks and then this little piston pumps been pressurizing their homes and um, providing the water they need and and so they disconnected their municipal water system to go uh, off grid with the system I put in a couple years ago. Very rewarding to go back and see um, how much they've grown, that the same system is keeping up with their demand, and no complaints there. So um, that's a fun thing for me, fun thing to share on YouTube. That hey, the systems work, folks. It's not something I just you know read about and made a little video about. We put put them in the ground. We install them in the well houses and dig the tanks in the little lines the thousands of feet of, of water line and take into account all the variables the elevations the friction loss the pipe sizing uh, the the load the amount of water that is required the pressure required and then is there enough solar energy to do all those things the batteries the charge controllers and so and this system still amazes me there's only two solar panels on it and it takes care of 20 plus people so many animals and so the only thing I had to improve was adding more storage because of the capacity so we do a lot of gravity fed water on this location as well if you ever need any help that's kind of why I wanted to do this little video just send me an email info at practicalpreppers.com and do me a favor gather all the information that you can about your project the well depth of um, all the specs that I need depth casing size gallons per minute and um, and then your springs, if you can, your your creeks, how many gallons per minute, elevation changes on your property, where distances, linear distances, and elevation, you know that's that those two variables I need to design you a good system. So this farm was close to me, so I could actually go and do a site evaluation. But I've done many with Google Earth and working with you as a customer, and then um, so I just like sharing this stuff on YouTube. I don't do YouTube full time. YouTube is like a sometimes an after the fact. I'm like, uh oh, I haven't put up a video in a long time, so I've got to you know do this and um, and I want to do this. I want to share these things because um, they I just get a lot of cool feedback from subscribers on the channel and people that have actually installed these and they're happy with the I don't know, the systems we're putting out. So. If you need help, let me know. Um, just again, just wanted to share how efficient it's the most efficient use of solar energy there is. Anything that you can do directly, solar to your water pumping directly, solar to your air conditioning directly, um, and not go through batteries per se. And you can't, you cannot beat it. And it's so, it's so cool. So anyway, just sharing and um, uh, just uh, hope you enjoy these things and that they help you with your projects and. Um, you know, everybody has, you know, it seems like every job I do is custom, so I understand you might have some unique situations, and how am I going to get the water from here to there, you know, from, i got to get it across the road or under the street and up on the mountain. Um, very doable. Um, I've tried so many different uh, pump technologies, have kind of honed that down into a, a core set of pumping technologies that I believe work um, fantastic and have good reliability and will blow you away of how much water we can we can move with a very little bit of solar energy so all right i hope that helps and because i recently got a lot of requests for um, just some design help love to do it and um, so fire away some emails and uh, comments what have you whatever is easy but email is probably the best way to get a hold of me all right here's the rest of the video here at Thus Far Farms, this will kind of be a part two video, making some upgrades. They've done a lot, a lot of work on their farm, and they needed more water, more capacity, more storage, that is. So I went ahead and grabbed another one of the Carolina water tanks, and I'm going to manifold it in 
with uh, what I've already done. So they just need more capacity. Okay, I put this system in about two years ago, and on this farm they've added so many things, animals, lots of livestock, uh, tiny houses, tent platforms. There's a lot of people here all the time working. There's others, RV sites now, and so their water usage went up considerably from when we first designed the system. So the well is a great well, had plenty of capacity. So what we're doing here is with the one panel on the left, we are filling two cisterns. Um, we were filling only one as a thousand gallons and it was barely keeping up with the demand. So we just added another tank. But what's impressive to me is just, just a 280 watt panel. that's able to take care of all the, the water needs for the farm, the, the animals, the cows, goats, chickens, horses, and lots of people show up here. They do a VRBO situation as well. So, um, and that red light on, that's a good thing. That is the tank is full, both tanks. So we just doubled our water capacity. We had the ability to do that because we had enough uh, water in the well and uh, plenty of sun in this location. So, and these panels probably need a good washing. They have it never been washed, but they're not doing too bad. So if you ever consider putting in a solar water system, I, I'm just, uh, this is just a testimony of one that works extremely well. Just one panel supplying enough water. It just slowly pumps all day long and takes care of this place. It's also a pressurized system. We have one other panel here. As you said, there's two there. And the other one is charging uh, two AGM batteries. Not a lot of light in here. So the two AGM batteries right here, a 24 volt system to run. To me, the most efficient water pump in the world, and that's a piston pump. And that's a Dankoff 30, uh, 30, I forgot the model of it, but it's a 24 volt uh, piston pump running off directly off the batteries. I'm using the Flex Charge charge controller to keep it, keep it charged. I got a video of this system, I think. I just, it's nice to come back and see it working well and um, a lot of, lot of options here, a lot of backup. So anyway, we're going to actually steal a little bit of power from this battery and, and run some lights for a storage building here soon. So I was just coming down to look at it and it made me think about how efficient um, solar water pumping is. So, okay, got any questions or need any help designing a system for your homestead or your retreat, what, what have you, just let me know. Engineer 775 signing out.